All right, this week's daily rehab tip is about glute bridges and trying to go from two leg to a single leg. Now this helps people with single sided hip problems, especially in that hip thrust sort of glute bridge position. So we're gonna go through some glute bridges and some hip extension thrusts, which are done quite often in the gym, to show you how we go or what we want you to do when you're going from two legs to one leg to help you for stability. So we'll go through the glute bridge first. Now when you're doing your glute bridge, so normal stuff, you go from here up into there, right? Really good rehab drill, great for learning how to hip inch, great for switching on your glutes, getting things firing to help you with that hip extension, that posterior chain mechanism. It's a really good exercise. Now, a lot of people, when they do single leg to sort out one side, end up doing this sort of thing, where they go up and down on one. Now that's great, and that works on the single leg strength, but we've got to try and work on, can you actually work on the stability part of that hip? So what I mean is, when you come up with two, what you're trying to do then is, can you then go to one without dropping the hip? So the aim of this one is to not start with one and go up and down, because you're starting on the ground without learning how to go from two to one. So if you go up with two, so once you've got your bridge sorted, right? you've got your bridge sorted, you're up with two, then you've got to try and fire one side more. So you load down, say if I'm gonna lose my right, load down on the right leg as hard as I can through the heel, squeeze my butt, and then float my left one off, like that. And then you've got to hold it, bring it back, keep your bridge, and then think, okay, left side, push down through my heel, clench my buttock, light in the right, don't move, float, back, and down. Now what you've got to notice with yourself is, are you, when you come up, are you pushing down and then lurching when you lift? Are you sort of compensating shifting, or are you lurching at this point when you try and lift? So you're not allowed to lift. So if this is my right leg going down, you're not allowed to lift this one, if you feel like you're gonna drop. So you can maybe just lighten it. So just lighten it to the point where you can really hold it and then just float it off, okay? So rather than doing this sort of thing, I think you're gonna learn a lot more in hip stability, left and right, by doing that and you'll find out where your weaknesses are. So that's your bridge one. Now hip extension is a little bit different. A lot of people are doing hip extension thrusts with a barbell, so if they're on a, like a bench type thing, and they're doing this movement here. We say this is a bench, and you're doing that movement with a big bar, right? Hip thrust movement. Now, if you want to do that one leg, same drill applies, okay? It's very much like your glute bridge this position. It's just a bit deeper. So you've got a bit of a bigger squat position, if you like, which works more glute. That's why they use it for bar hip thrust, bigger range, more glute power, more development. So this one, you can do the same thing. Now, this one will progress to a ball. What I suggest you do for stability reasons, learn how to do it here with a bench, then go to a ball to a show them, which is way harder. So with your winner, with a bench, same sort of drills, hip width apart, come up to that position, load through one, so it's my right, load down, push down through my heel, really use my glutes, I'm really trying to stabilize. Think about where your hip level is, maybe even put your hands on, and then you go, okay, I'm gonna lie to my left, float, hold it, You'll get a bit of a shake going on, down, and then you can drop. Okay, so then you might do left, right, left, right. So you come up again, reset, glutes on, make sure your back's in the right position, core's on, think about the level here, load down through the left, squeeze here, float. Okay, down. Even I'm shaking a little bit with that, because some of it is a learned position. I haven't done it for a while, you have to relearn those sort of movements of trying to learn how to shift and weight bear without shifting your hips left or right, or rocking the boat this way or that way, all right? So learn on the bench or a chair or your sofa first, then you can progress or graduate to the ball. The ball in a physio world is just making this whole thing a bit unstable, all right? So you have to work harder through your whole chain, especially through that posterior chain, to be able to lift one leg without shifting left to right. That's the trick, okay? And this is, remember, this is if you're learning, if you want stability through your hip, this is how you do it, rather than just adding on load. So, same sort of drill, get into the ball, down in that position again, all right? Now, you could probably start, hands down, 
for a little bit of sort of like a crane, putting its struts out, you know. So you get in that position, come up into that bridge type position, then okay, I'm going to put a little bit of weight through here, try not to roll the ball and shift weight. You really don't want to shift weight over to try and get that center of gravity. You've got to go no, hold, and lift. Now, what you might have to do, bring the feet together a little bit more, so it's in the center a bit more. So coming up, load bear one, raise the other, come down, down. So don't fatigue out that lower back, especially if you're not used to that position, by staying up there for the whole set of 10. Come up and down. Then you can reset, refocus, core on, glutes on, lower back nice and happy, and then put weight through one, raise the other. And you'll naturally see the difference between your left and right. And you'll probably find, if you're a right footer, your left leg is better at doing this. Okay, that's just a natural human thing to do. Unless you're a little bit ambidextrous. But most of the time, people who are dominant on their, like their kicking leg, they're gonna be better on their stability on the opposite leg. All right, food for thought. See how that goes, see you next time.